I'm Zarek. Colonel Ty. Battlestar Galactica. I see. My wife. Does she have a name? Ellen. Call me Tom. I don't like to stand on ceremony. I'm the same way. All this pretension makes me sick. You're holding up the line. Thank you for making me feel welcome, Ellen. Hope to see you again. Why did you do that? To get a picture on the front page of every half-baked newsletter and photo service in the fleet. I don't need my picture taken with a terrorist. Oh, wake up, Saul. Look at these cameras. <laughs> Rosalind's the past, Zarek's the future. A blind man can see that. You. Madam President? Mr. Zarek? If I were to, uh, offer you my hand in friendship, would you take it? Well, there's only one way to find out. That was nicely played. Thank you. Just remember, I'm not your enemy, Madam President. And I know today's agenda is rather large. But I think that if you look at the scheduled meetings, you'll see that they concern issues vital to the fleet. In some cases, existing policies regarding matters such as the distribution of medical supplies need only your review. You're missing an intriguing opportunity. Liars not wearing any underwear. Oh, don't be absurd. <laughs> been eyeing you all afternoon. Well, she's only human. You're not jealous. Love isn't about sex, guys. It doesn't invite a point of view. I've been thinking. And as far as I'm concerned, you can have any woman you want. But always remember, I have your heart. Yes, of course you do. I can always rip it out of your chest if I need to. So if there are no objections, the chair will entertain motions to accept today's agenda as proposed. I have a objection. The chair recognizes Sagittarius. All the items on your agenda are important, I agree. Ration distribution, education, medical services, all very, very important. But I'm frankly shocked to discover the most critical issue of all is nowhere to be found. Really? Well, perhaps Mr. Zara could enlighten us. The election of a vice president. If, God forbid, anything should happen to you, Madam President, we have no designated successor. The civilian branch of our government would be paralyzed, leaving the door wide open for a military dictatorship. Sagittarian moves that the first item on the quorum's agenda should be nominations for vice president. Second. 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 Caprica seconds for, uh, for various reasons, uh, w which are far too obvious and numerous to go into right now. But certainly, I, I think we can all agree uh, that it'd be a good idea to have a successor. The motion has been moved and seconded. All those in favor of opening nominations for the vice presidency say aye. 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 The ayes have it. The floor is now open for nominations. The chair recognizes we're gone. Now, there is only one man here who is willing to work for the betterment of the people in this fleet. When I asked for his help, he sent a crew to fix the air filtration system on my ship and held they were finished and they were gone while I was still waiting for the president's office to return my call. I nominate Tom Zarek. Thanks.
Is there a second? Jim and Ann seconds the nomination. The nomination of Tom Zara for the vice presidency has been accepted. The chair will remain open for 72 hours for nominations. This session is now adjourned.